passed it to the neutral area. Yanni picked it up at time. It's good room. Fires. And saved by Ranford. Bill Ranford has been dazzling with his glove so far in this series. Trent Yanni, after Greg failed to get it in deep, gloved it, passed it to Thomas. Thomas let it go to this glove side, and Ranford, terrific with that glove hand. He's robbed. Here to the center and Smith. He puts Anderson over the line on right wing, drops it for Messier. He centered a shot, they score! Greg Simpson on a one-time blast. Messier, the perfect feed right between the rings. Will and on Anthony the power play, it's one nothing Edmondson. Well, the speed of Anderson and Messier created the scoring chance. Anderson breaks in at the line, picks it up on his skates. Quick pass across. Nice. Smith, the drop pass to Messier. Simpson comes in late on his forehand. The pass just misses Troy Murray, and Millen had no chance. As Simpson got all of it, his fourth goal of the power play in the playoffs and ninth overall. And his first point of this series, Greg Simpson, not much of a factor in either of the first two games in Edmonton, but he draws first blood for the Oilers on a one-time power play drive. The stick and Messier gave him his. Here's a steal by Mark Lamb with a shot and a save by Millen. Rebound to the near corner. Curry stole the center line. Big save by Millen and the Oilers shorthanded with a couple of good chances. Graham dumping it into the Oilers zone. The far corner it goes. Wesley bumping Simpson and came loose to Graham. To the near point and Manson the long shot deflected off the of Savard. To Murray, he scores! Oh, Murray! A turnaround shot underneath Ramber just after. Playing his 109th game, pinched in, made the play to keep it alive, taking the body along the far corner boards. The puck came across from Graham. Manson let it go, it hits the bar, deflected to Bob Murray. He turned, spun around, and whipped the forehand pass Radford to tie the game. With the shot by Manson hits the bar in the skates. Good job by Bob Murray to quickly turn and let it go on his forehand, but he made the play along the far board to prevent the Oilers from clearing. There have been times during the regular season where if we had 340 without a whistle, I'd feel your head on my shoulders, but boy, you're really into this one. How could you not be at this building, yeah. this great location we're broadcasting from in the great crowd? Here's Manson, a long drive. Bradford got a piece with a glove. Rebound Creighton behind. Here's the rest. chance stopped by Ranford but this puck hit the skate of the Lima in front and had enough steam to go under and pass the line. Fraser was in perfect spot to see it. He was right behind the net. Get away but couldn't get it out. Muni all off a hit to keep it in. Now Muni up the slot shooting. Millen the save. Rebound Jelena. His shot. Millen. Rebound into the slot. Jelena. been the entire playoffs. Muni braved in from the point. Millen makes the save. The rebound to Jelena. Jelena picks it up with the skates, lets the high one go. Millen stands up, makes the save. The rebound back to Jelena. Jelena turns and fires a low one to the stick side. Millen, falling to his right, was able to kick back to his left. Others trying to take it out. They do to Curry. Shooting right on and a save by Millen, and he gave no rebound. Graves and Tinkin and we're both there hoping for a three on two rush. Low has it. In over the line, he left it for Murphy. His shot, Millen the save, and he gets no rebound. Pulls it 
back to Smith who drives it in there. And Hoffman from the Klima, shot him wide. Wrap around, dump in. Hits a partition, comes out off Millen, right to Klima. And what a nightmare that must be for a guy standing there, goaltender Klima, a very dangerous sniper. Fortunately for Millen and the Blackhawks, he shot it wide. Lifting it ahead low, picked it off. Got it to Murphy with a long shot. Millen does the word is! And the horn sounds! The Blackhawks got a great defensive play at the, in the final second when Millen had no idea where the puck yeah. Murphy let it go with two seconds to go. The time it expired. Millen knew that. <laughs> Savard feeding Gilbert now to Manson. Got it to center before he lost the handle and now Manson getting it back. Puts Savard over the line. Two on one cutting in with Warmer. Right around to check in with Warmer. He's got it! Savard! What a brilliant rush up the ice! And then he set the table for Larmer who made no mistake. Second of the goal for a second goal of the game for Larmer. It's 3-1 Chicago. Well, Dave Manson has had a brilliant game. Outstanding in the first period, made the play in the neutral zone off the boards to Savard, two on one that he fenced, but didn't realize, I guess it was a two on one. And he went swimming, I believe it was Randy Gregg who went diving on the fake from Savard. Savard faked the shot, Gregg went diving. Savard on two on all break, slipped it over to Larmer, and Larmer made Radford pay. And the Hawks take a 3 1 lead on Larmer, second of the night. But the defense was diving. And Savard slipped it over to Larmer, but Manson made the play in the neutral zone with a bank pass off the boards. Anderson joining in, so does Graham. Graham wins the puck, trying to stop it in a bouncing puck, and Ranford down to smother it into the turtle. This hard board work from Graham and Lemieux, creating a little bit of a scramble around the oiler net. Gets it in over the line. Got help from Messier, who turns the deep slot, beating Steve Smith right in, he shoots, and a save by Millen. Rebound Graham, and he clears. Steve Smith, got it to Messier, into the near circle, here's the shot, Millen the save, giggling into the slot, and he covers it up. Turned and questioned the call, he couldn't believe that that was a penalty, he just straight armed him around the face. Ronick goes down, Ronick wanted to get back at Murphy, but... Murphy puts his arms up and can't believe it's a call. Maybe the football team at Michigan State could use him. Fought off a Messier hit. He held on to it. Center with Marmer. And a save by Ranford. Marmer trying to beat some hard. It's picked off by Messier. Mark Messier over the hawk line. Centered it. Here's Honey. A shot. Millen! A great shorthanded chance for Charlie. Yanni, a spinning move to the near side. Yanni, now centered it. Here's Larmer in the deep slot. His back hit it. The flag to on. And Ranford, a nice save in traffic. And he hangs on. But put it into the far corner. Presley there. Sweeps it up the board. Not out. Back of the net. Tegan looking for help in front. He centered it. Here's Curry right in. Deacon and in behind. Messier runs over Steve Conroy. No interference call. It results in a great scoring chance for Curry, but Millen shuts the door. And then Randy Gregg takes a retaliatory penalty. Wilson took him off the puck along the board. Back of the net, Larmer got a rough ride, but he held the puck, then gave it away. A shot and a save by Millen. Rebound cleared to center. Messier off a Chicago miscue with a glorious chance. Knocked off the puck, then was able to get it back, and then tried to go up the middle, and it hit the skate of Messier, and Messier went in, and Millen with a good save on Messier. Dennis Savard taking an ill-advised penalty. The Blackhawks were doing a good job cutting the clock down the first five minutes. Who got it to the neutral area? Smith dumping it right back in there. Greg Gilbert is back. He's got time. And cleared it to center. Graham, he's got a breakaway. Gilbert with 
of all kinds of time in the corner to the left of Millen. Nice to slap it. It's right on the money. Graham has it squirt away from him. He pulls away, takes his time, takes once, pulls it back to his forehand, and slips it by Ranford. Short-handed goal and a 4-1 Chicago lead. Only nine seconds remaining on the Savard slashing penalty. And 12.33 to go in the third. Stadium. Graves put it in behind the hawk net. Murphy centered it clean. A one whack, two whacks, and he's held up by Millen. Adam, or rather a Peter Klima, a couple of point blank chances. Millen again shuts the door. 12 minutes. Deep in his own zone. Will Anderson on the right side. Couldn't get it out. Wilson shoots one. Ran for the save. Almost gave up a rebound. Now able to smother it. And Take another whistle. Beaconin gets away from Presley. Beaconin trying to center one. Hits the skate of Lowe who tries to jam it in. And Millen says no. Up with it for the Oilers. Jelena knocked down at center. Taken away to Ronick. And over the Edmonton line. Ronick puts for the net. Center one a shot. Big save by Ranford. Thomas didn't get much on the shot, but Ranford. Still with a good move from might have made the save with his back. Backhand to backhand. You won't see that very often today. Most players will try to pull it to their forehand with the hook stick. It's a lost art. Conroyd at the line with a long shot, missing the target. Taken by Bob Murray. His shot. Presley getting the bounces in the playoffs gets his ninth of the playoffs. He had six in the regular season. Bob Murray has started things off, scoring the first hot goal. Blasted one, got it all high off the chest protector, up in the air. Ranford couldn't locate it, and Presley made him pay, tucking it in just inside the near post. To go. Here's a Presley steal. He breaks for the net. The shot ran for the save. And the rebound is Jelena feeding Simpson on the right side. One minute to play in the third period. For McTavish. Back to Simpson behind the net. Simpson centered low. And a save by Millen. Greg Millen unbeatable here in this hockey game. The Hawks cleared with 45 seconds left. Centering. Marmer at the side of the net. His pass stolen by Klima. One more rush for the Oilers in this one. Klima in on Yoni. Goes wide and couldn't pull the trigger. Andra to Larmer to Gilbert. Ten seconds left. Gilbert takes the long shot. Ranford knocked it now. Gloving. And the Hawks have taken a two game. his best performance. Brilliant. In the first period especially when the others came out and peppered 14 shots at him were physical. Tried to set the tone yet the Blackhawks had the lead 2-1 of that in itself I think frustrated the Oilers more than anything. And then once the Hawks scored the second they had a two goal lead. They've been almost perfect this year protecting the lead. And uh, when the Oilers put pressure on him Millen came through again.